Hi, I'm Ryan Nichol, CTO at DSA Ocean, and today I want to talk about preparing an OBJ mesh for import in Shipmo 3D. What we're going to do is use one of the sample ship hulls in uh, Delft Chip. Delft Ship is a very uh, versatile tool used for creating detailed uh, hull models. And what I've done is I've loaded this uh, seagoing tug project, which comes with a number of other sample projects freely available with Delft Ship, and we're just going to use this as an example. So um, Delft Ship has a, a, a lot of really interesting capabilities, of course, and uh, uh, but really all we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to go to Save As and Wavefront File OBJ. So I've made a temporary folder under my uh, sample project C going tug, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save this C going tug OBJ file here. Now, usually what happens is there's a different coordinate frame that's used in uh, a tool like Delft Ship, and we need to double check it and make sure that it's uh, set up correctly and ready to go with Shipmo 3D. One way you can do this is with another tool called uh, Rhino. What Rhino can do for us here, uh, if we just go, uh, I want to make sure I'm doing a large objects meters project, and we'll open that OBJ mesh file that we just created. So, and we'll just uh, use these default settings. So there's a, a couple of issues here. Um, uh, again, usually just related to reference frame uh, uh, orientations. Shipmo 3D is expecting a file uh, that has half the mesh, not the entire hull mesh split along the midline. It's also expecting um, uh, the uh, one side of the ship in the positive uh, octant uh, coordinates. So you can go negative x a little bit uh, to account for the fact that the aft perpendicular might not be right at the transom. Uh, but generally, we're going to have to reorient this and cut it in half and make sure that we've got uh, the, the midline of the ship is along the X, Z axis here. So there's a couple of rotation transformations we need to make, um, and we can just do that with the rotate command. So we'll rotate, and first we're going to rotate it sideways, select objects to rotate. Just like that, the center of rotation. Um, because the aft of the ship is right at the uh, uh, part of the ship is right at zero zero zero, that's what I'm putting in for the center of rotation. And then we're going to do ninety degrees. Oops, that's gone the wrong way. Let's try that again. We can even use last center set uh, for center of rotation, and then we'll go negative ninety. There we go. Okay, so we've got the ship. Uh, along the x-axis, but now we need to uh, flip it so it's in positive z accordingly. See it's on the side here in the in the uh, y-axis plane. So we're going to do another rotation, and we can do that in this uh, viewport here. So we'll go rotate again. We've already selected the mesh. Uh, we'll use this 0, 0, 0 again, use last center, and we should just be able to go 90. Here we are. Perfect. So we've got it aligned along the x-axis, and um, it's okay to have some of the geometry um, in negative x here. We'll just leave that, that center location there. But we do have to trim off half the mesh that's in the negative y uh, location here. So we're going to um, do that using a cutting plane. So what we can do is in the side view, that's kind of handy here, is use uh, create a surface. And we can just make, as long as it's you know, uh, clearly uh, making a, a shape that cuts, that completely covers the whole midsection, that's what we want. You can see that's aligned nicely along the midplane. And we want to go to uh, use the command trim uh, mesh, sorry, mesh trim. So select object to trim. We want to pick, uh, that's not quite right. Let's try that again. 
Select cutting objects. Here we are. Okay, so let's collect, select the, the mid plane there. Perfect. And press enter when done and select object to trim. So now we want to select the, the half of the ship that's in the negative portion. So we click on that. Perfect. And we're all done trimming, so I'll press enter again. Now I'm going to get rid of this cutting plane, so we'll just select it and delete. And if we check the surface, we'll see uh, I've got the back, back surface colored um, red for the inside surface, so it looks like the normals are all looking really good. And you know, that's honestly a pretty good mesh resolution for hydrodynamics, so now we're going to go File, Save As. Uh, you might want to save it as a Rhino file in case you want to come back to it and make some changes. So we'll just save it as a Rhino file first, and then we'll go save as uh, C going tug processed, and we'll pick OBJ just to differentiate it from the other one. I want to make sure it's not mapping Rhino Z to OBJY. Okay. All right. So we've successfully exported that file, and let's just test it in Shipmos 3D. Close that there. Shipmo 3D version 4, go new project, and what I want to do is pick my sample projects, there's my seagoing tug folder, Draft uh, ship length between perpendiculars is 58. Draft is 5. We'll add new data. Panel hull. Nope, didn't get copied over. Uh, I was still highlighted it in the previous field. So we got 5 meters for the draft at midships. We're going to select wavefront OBJ file. And let's make sure we're selecting seagoing tug processed OBJ. And run. Panel hull successfully completed. So let's go plot panel hull. And if we, it's got default blue, green, red scale here. If we go to ship parts, that more clearly shows the wet hull area in uh, yellow and then the dry hull in green. And the water line there, of course, has got a little bit more of a, a mesh refinement. So yeah, I just wanted to show um, how to go about uh, processing an OBJ file. Uh, and getting it ready for import in Shipmo 3D. Uh, we demonstrated that using one of the sample projects from Delft Ship, which is also a great program you should check out. All right, thanks for watching.